Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash entitled parents. In today's episode. My mom keeps hitting and abusing me while pregnant. Mother took the payment for my totaled car. EP says I don't spend enough money on her son. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. My mom keeps hitting and abusing me while pregnant. She is very mentally ill and I have been experiencing this all my life so it doesn't bother me as bad but this day she has succeeded in pushing me to the limit. I had to move back in because of some issues with my child's father. Snee threw water in my face because of an argument previously. Today I woke up with a really bad cough. She has severe OCD when it comes to germs and bacteria. So the fact that I was coughing she was already losing her mind. I reminded her that my little brother probably gave me the cough because he was sick for two weeks with a really bad cough too. That is similar to mine, my brother is her favorite so she starts freaking out and getting really angry that I'm accusing him. I remind her that it really isn't that big of a deal but she keeps getting more and more furious. To the point she involves my brother in it, now we are screaming and going back and forth about who gave me the cough. I peacefully remind her again that my brother is around kids of all ages at school and they could have given it to my brother then my brother gave it to me but it's not that big of a deal. I realize that she's taking it more seriously than it really is and starts to hit me and goes to the sink and threatens to throw water at me for accusing my brother. I'm so done with her abuse I grabbed a water bottle and threw water back. My brother starts screaming now she's pulling my hair but I'm defending myself, I'm literally pregnant, I don't want her to hurt my baby if she decides to hit me in the wrong spot. She grabs a bucket of water and throws it all over me. Then I proceed to do the same back. She is now telling me to get out her house that my brother will hate me for this. My brother is screaming and begging us to stop and I honestly feel so bad but I love how this somehow is all my fault like everything else is. She goes and takes a shower with my brother because I contaminated them. I'm so tired of this. The only reason I came back was because I didn't think she would be abusive to me while pregnant. This is a lot for me and motivates me more to leave. This is just one instance. She has done this to me countless of times. Get out. Hopefully you have another family member or friend you can stay with. But even if your only option is a DV shelter, you need to get out. You need to protect your child. Also, if you have any visible bruises, file a police report. Thank you for your advice. You need to get out. Now. And talk to CPS about her showering with your brother, please. She is a violent and incestuous stick of dynamite waiting to go off. Yeah, YTF is she showering with your brother? You should be calling CPS and filling out a police report. Do you understand the next time this happens you could lose your baby and your brother could end up in foster care? What are you playing at here? Your baby is feeling the stress that your mother is putting you through. Get out now. You need to contact the police right now and tell them that you are a victim of domestic violence at the hands of your mom and find a shelter for you and your unborn child now. Also, press charges against your mother for the physical abuse she's inflicting on you, especially if there's any visible wounds. Maybe she'll get the mental health help she desperately needs. Please remove yourself from this situation. Another thing, how old is your brother that they take a shower together? That's weird. This isn't an entitled parent post. Your mom is mentally ill not entitled. Go to a homeless shelter, but get out of the home now. You didn't post your brother's age, but if he's a minor, report your mother to CPS. She has not business having children in her home unless she receives help for her illness. Mother took the payment for my totaled car. I was in a car accident earlier this month where I was at fault. During the accident I was 19 and it was 4 days before my birthday. 
The car title had both of our names on it, but ultimately it was my car. I am under my mother's car insurance and thankfully had full coverage. They deemed my car totaled because the curtain airbags deployed. My mother was, at first, stressing that I should get the specific car she was telling me to get. The car had a rebuilt title and it was more money than I even have. I had found multiple cars, even my exact car, that were a good price that I was hoping to check out. I wanted to use the money insurance would have given me from my totaled car. My mother knew that I didn't want the car she wanted me to get. I told her over text I wanted to get a cheaper car. So, she instead decided she would give me her car and take the insurance money to get herself a very nice, new car. I didn't get a choice in the matter, I just found out she did it when she told our family she got a new car. Her car has some warning lights, is dirty, and is worse than the car I had. I don't even know how much the insurance company gave for my car because it went directly to her and she won't say. She thinks it was a gift and that I should be grateful but I don't have to make car payments. Almost every day she has been making comments about me getting a free car. Be careful with this car, I can't afford another one. Since you want to complain about a free car you can trade it in, but those payments will be all on you. I feel like a brat complaining when some people don't even have a means of transportation. I know I should be grateful to have a car in the first place, but the fact that I had no choice with something that would have really helped has ruined me over mentally. Even when I first got my car, she made decisions for me despite having little to no knowledge about cars. Scheduling me to get new tires for over $1,000 without asking me and being forced to pay. Going to a specific auto places because she would be pissed if I didn't then being shoved with her car that she didn't bother to fix. All I wanted was to get a decent used car that I wouldn't need to make any monthly payments on because I could buy it outright from the owner. Exactly how it was with my totaled car. Now, I have to spend money to fix her car up just to be able to trade it in. She isn't exactly poor and doesn't have any debt to pay, so I haven't been able to see why she did this to me. She seems completely oblivious to the fact that I didn't want this at all. I didn't even know she had the ability to take the money for the car without the insurance also letting me know. I don't know what I'm expecting from posting this. I just can't stop thinking about it. I feel like a failure for getting into an accident. Edit to answer things that were brought up multiple times. My mother bought the car originally and I paid her back for it. I paid for the insurance on my car. I send her the money for the total of mine, she pays for her own car. She is the primary on the insurance, my brother and I are under hers because it costs less and that's just how she had us do it. I didn't sign any check. I haven't seen the check or know how much it was for. Contact the insurance company and ask them where your check is play stupid. Your name was on the title then your name was probably on the check with your mother's. When my kid totaled his car the check came in both our names. Then get a copy of the cancelled check to see who's the payee and how she signed it. If your name is signed on the back, that's forgery. Then confront her with her crime and ask for the money or you can call the cops. Spread this fact around the family if she balks, then get police involved. So take her crap box and trade it in for whatever you can get for it and try to get something you want. Also get all your own insurance, loans, titles, etc. She should have signed off on the other car as soon as you turned 18. Now you know not to trust her with anything. Ask her to pay for the repairs on her old car. Had you been paying the insurance on the wrecked car? Have her sign the title over to you and charge her to fix her old car to be functional. EP says I don't spend enough money on her son. For some background EP is my boyfriend's mother, I 18 NB have been dating my 17 M boyfriend for several months at this point. I am in college and have a minute wage job, so I have some money, but not a lot. My BF also has a minute wage job, but he doesn't get much hours as he is still in high school. 
Throughout the months I have dated my BF I have paid for both of us 95% of the time, this includes taking him to semi-formal sit-down restaurants that were several hundred dollars a bill, paying for food, paying for tickets to places, etc. I have spent over $800 on him at this point. If you're asking why my BF hasn't spent as much, it's because about 50% of his check is taken away to pay for bills by Ippy. Ippy also won't let him spend any money because he is saving up for something. I get invited to go to a high school dance, not prom, with BF, and I buy a dress for about $70 as my parents offered to pay for my dress, I usually wear suits to events, but something about BF's family told me it would be safer to wear a dress, BF asks for picture of dress to match tie with, this is when EP comes in, she has my number, so she texts me and asks if I am seriously wearing that dress to her son's special dance. She then proceeds to guilt trip me and call me cheap for wanting to wear this dress to her son's special day, saying that he's going all out for it and that I shouldn't cheap him out, she texts me for hours at end trying to convince me to buy a new dress, she sends me a link to a dress on FB Marketplace for $300, which tbh is prom dress prices, to which I decide I'm just going to wear one of my old prom dresses as at this point that's what she's wanting me to wear. So now my parents are annoyed with me for not wearing what they bought, but it's okay, then comes the dance BF shows up wearing a $20 at best collared black shirt and his work pants, no corsage, etc. No fault to him, but at this point I'm annoyed that I was expected to wear a really expensive dress by EP, and was guilt tripped for attempting to wear something that wasn't up to EP's standards, but he gets to show up in an outfit from Walmart. Fast forward a month, I've continued to pay for everything when we go out, then one night my BF says over video call that EP thinks I should spend more on him and that EP thinks that the money situation is uneven saying that my BF has paid for most things, of which is not true as I have the bank account history to prove it. Then comes BF's birthday, me and BF decide we should do something new and we decide to do something low-key, like go to a local park and have a picnic or something along those lines. AP then shuts down this idea to my BF saying that it's her son's birthday and I should spoil him and that having a picnic is an excuse to not spend money on her son. BF is then not able to spend time with me, as none of the ideas that we come up with are good enough for EP, meaning that the ideas didn't involve me spending significant money on BF on top of getting him a gift. EP then proceeds to frame it as my fault that he wasn't able to spend time with me on his birthday, of which my BF was devastated and was crying the entire day due to, EP then proceeds to ask my BF to tell me to apologize to her for ruining her son's birthday. I can't stand up to her as EP is so overbearing and yells at retail and other minimum wage workers to get her way. I refuse to apologize as truly she caused the issue in the first place, and I've already dug my bank account into the ground paying for my BF all the time and it's ridiculous to complain and try to say that I don't spoil him enough. My parents are also upset and want to have a word with EP over this whole situation. I'm kind of scared to post this, but I don't think EP even knows what Reddit is. Maybe best to cut ties with this family. EP only sees you as a bank account and it will most likely only get worse. I would go so far to say EP only see people as bank accounts, her sons to cover her housing and such an OPs to cover the son. Yes, I would bail out of this relationship, at 17 he still needs his mom, but I guarantee EP will just as involved when he's 27. This woman will always be tied this her son's wallet and staying only ties her to ops as well. There, and I mean both your BF and the EP, are taking advantage of you. Get out of this relationship yesterday. You've only been going out for a few months and she not only has access to your number but she also consistently harasses you about how you spend your money. Why are you entertaining these convos at all? Block her number. He went out of his way to tell you that his mom thinks you should spend more money on him because he agrees even if he's not willing to admit it. He's planting a seed of doubt in the hopes that it grows subconsciously. I highly recommend taking a big step back from this relationship. At least until he's moved out and can show he's only under her thumb because he's stuck living with her as a minor. EP wants a poor college student to be her golden boy sugar mama. And he's so brainwashed that he believes her. He's always going to take her side unless he moves far away and gets therapy. It will take years to get better but as long as she's alive you'll have problems. 
I hope OP figures out sooner rather than later what relationship red flags are and breaks up. Sounds like your BF is lying to his mom about how much he's spending on you, to cover up for other purchases he's made that she wouldn't approve of. Otherwise, he would have corrected his mother every time she complained to him about the supposed imbalance. You're being taken advantage of. Either just get out and away from them, or give them an ultimatum with a timeline for things to change, and then get out when they don't change. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.